What's good? What's good? Welcome back to Invest in Trade with Jax. We've got some warning signs of pullback here for the price of Bitcoin. We're going to get into it. Currently sitting at 17.1, down 1.7 on the day. Sitting at market cap of 326 million. 24 hour volume, 18.81 billion. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're new to Bybit, make sure to sign up. Grab up to $8,000 in bonuses. You can email me your sign up email after you make your first deposit. I'll give you free access to my Discord of over 2,000 members. So we're going to start here. On the four hour time frame, we we're watching this large falling wedge pattern. Um, we started to fake out to the upside. We fell back down into the pattern. I was looking for a push up to about 18K, but there is a potential chance to start to reverse from here. So we have a bearish divergence on the four hour as well as on the money flow um, with the double top. So we could break down, start to break down. A measured move here would take you down to about. Um, 16.3k so do watch for that if we go to the elliott wave count what we are looking at is potentially we had completed the five wave move right here and we had seen a wave two pullback looking to push up in that wave three um, but this was a very shallow pullback so it could be a wave four and this was the wave five completing the wave one and then you would pull back in a wave two however uh, just let me quickly adjust this we'll do a quick measurement to see where that wave two pullback would end up here. So you'd be looking for a pullback in between the 0.5 at 16.7K and the 0.786 at 16.3, which lines up with um, the target from this double top pattern. So just gonna quickly take out this fib. What we are looking at is for a wave two pullback. That's what we've been covering here for you know weeks now. Um, that we're looking to come down in the wave three. Within the wave three is five waves. So we had a wave one looking for the wave two. Now with the wave two, the minimum target is the 0.382, as I mentioned in the Discord here, which is sitting at 17.4K, and we've hit it, or we're close enough. So price can reverse from here. You can already have completed that wave C in a small five-wave move, and now you'll see the continuation to the downside, which will take you down which would take you down here to that wave three um, target. I would have to, to restructure it here. If we were to reverse from here, then you would take a trend-based fib extension from the top of wave one to the bottom to the top of wave two, if that were to be the top. Then a wave three target, the minimum target is 12.5K. And usually you reach the 1.618 at about 10K. That's if we reject from here. Now, what can also happen for the price of BTC is we put in a wave two pullback into that wave two zone, possibly come down to that 16.3K range and then continue to push up and push up to 18K. That's definitely still on the table. But if we do start to break below that 0.786, I know I deleted the FIB, but it's sitting at about 16.2, 16.3 then the wave two pullback becomes less likely and we could focus on that bearish scenario. So it all depends on how deeply we, we retrace here. Uh, that bearish divergence with that double top does indicate to us that there's a higher probability of pullback. But if we were to just break out to the upside, then all I'd be looking at is that continuation of that previous wave count. All right, gang, hopefully all of that makes sense. This is the daily time frame. We have a little bit of a topping tail, a rejection candle here that we closed yesterday out with. So just watch for that. But you could look at this as a little bit of a bull flag. Um, even though there's higher probability of a downside breakout, you should always look at both scenarios. So if we started to break out of that flag, could push you up to about 18.3K. Looking at the DXY, that bullish divergence on the four hour, we are starting to see a bounce here. So if you do see continuation to the upside, then that's bearish for Bitcoin. Uh, we'll see how that plays out. The Dow Jones, we've been looking for pullback, strong bearish divergence on the four hour. We almost met our, our target, this yellow box here of resistance. And uh, what I've been looking at for the Dow Jones is that this is a fake out to the upside and then we break back down into the pattern. So once that does happen, if it does happen, that's what I'm anticipating here. That will also be bearish for Bitcoin as it moves very closely with the stock market. All right, gang, that's basically it for this update. Um, the signals on the chart are showing signs of pullback. So if that does play out, then your target is 16.3K which would line up with the wave two pullback zone. But if we break any deeper, the maximum retrace 
retracement is the start as 99% of wave one. So if we start to break below 16K, it's all over and you'll see that continuation to the downside. Even if we start to lose 16.3, 16.2, then higher probability you'll see that continuation to the downside. But if we bounce before then, or we bounce from this yellow box, then we're still looking at putting in that wave two correction and completing our wave C in a five wave move. All right, gang, make sure to sign up to Bybit, grab those bonuses, make your first deposit, email me or sign up email, free access to my Discord of over 2000 members posting chart patterns, talking all things crypto at the 10 USD membership, early access to my analysis as well as my trade signals. Recently locked in some juicy gains on a Bitcoin, uh, sorry guys, on a sandbox long position, reached our first take profit. Um, it's only 10 bucks a month. You really can't beat it. You can sign up through the Patreon, and I'll see you in the next video. All right, much love. Take care.